What's up, everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to uh, elaborate one one final time. I made a video this morning in which I said a few things uh, off the cuff uh, without giving much thought. I just let my kind of let my emotions spill out um, while I was at work this morning, and I, I said a few things, and I want to quickly elaborate on them uh, so you guys can have a, a, a greater grasp of what I meant. A lot of you people have been with me for years. Many years. There's over 6,000 subscribers. Might be a thousand subscribers now. I don't know. Um, but a lot of you guys have been with me for a long time. You guys remember this show I used to do. It's called Beastly Thoughts Live. This this is from a few years ago, four years ago here. Uh, it was something that was really special to me for, for a long time. Uh, I made some great friends. As you guys can see here, there's me, Briar Rabbit, who went off to do bigger and better things. Robbie, Rabbit Skull, Inner Black Ninja and not too nerdy. To me, we are the founding members of one of the greatest moments of my life. To be able to talk video games in front of people who were gracious enough to listen to us. This morning, I made a, a off-the-cuff comment about uh, my loss of, I guess I, I guess I could say the loss of love uh, between me and Briar Rabbit. And, um, it's true. Uh, he's not someone who I ever want to even have a conversation with again. And that's okay. Um, I don't have any ill will towards the guy. I, I want him to be successful. I want his family to be successful. But um, there, there were some things that happened uh, over the course of the last few years that really, to me, it showed me what a person really was. Uh, so I'm going to actually share something with you guys, something that I've never shared with anyone besides Briar Rabbit and this kid here. I haven't even talked to I haven't talked to Robbie in and probably got close to a year. Uh, I haven't spoken to any of these guys. I think I talked to Inner Black Ninja for the first time in forever on uh, YouTube this morning, and I said hi to him when he was streaming a few like a month ago or something. But some some things happened. I, this show ended after years um, and, and the way it ended uh, was very tumultuous and very very stressful for me uh, at the end of Beastly Thoughts Live it was me Briar Rabbit Robbie and Gary Diaz who uh, later joined uh, towards the end of the show and uh, we had fun for probably close to a year the four of us and during this time for probably the two and a half, three years preceding the, the time where Gary joined us, Robbie, uh, he did all the work. He did a lot of the legwork. He would get all the stories together and uh, Briar and I would just start the stream. And Robbie, basically, he would put everything out for us to, to run the gamut on the show. And it was very, very helpful, I'll say. And over the years, you know, we had it had it out with each other and, 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 and we, loved games and hated games and 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 we would talk things out and one day uh, I got a phone call, well not a phone call I got a, um, a message from Briar he wanted to speak with me privately and so he, he started a, a Skype chat with me and it was just he and I and uh, he was like hey man uh, what do you think about rebranding the show and I was like what do you mean and you guys want to change the name and he was like I was thinking yeah Rechange, you change the name and do some some other things with it. And, and I was like, okay, well, during this time, Gary had just, you know, he had joined us. And Gary was very meticulous about the way that he um, he, he helped out with the show. Uh, he helped out with the format. He helped us out greatly in the way that we ran through the show. And, and up until Gary came, Robbie was the guy who had done that for the few years before. And so during this kind of transi transition of Beastly Thoughts, Robbie was kind of feeling like he was getting stepped on a little bit and he would make comments to us after the show he's like well you guys are changing everything you know and and i understood it but it was for the best you know during that period of time things were becoming a little bit easier and more, more cohesive for, for us to run the gamut on during the show and it was great but during this private skype chat briar kind of hit me with a bombshell and this isn't this isn't malicious i'm doing this for myself um i'm sorry they're they're remodeling the house next door. Um, but this is for me. This is not for Briar Rabbit. This is not for Gary. This is not for even Robbie. It's not for anybody. This is for me because this is something I've been holding in and, and, and dealing with for a long time. 
um, well, not really dealing with it. It's over now. But during the time that it happened, it was it was a lot of stress on me, and and I was torn apart uh, by by what had happened. Uh, Briar told me during the Skype chase he wanted to get I want to get rid of Robbie, and I was like, what? You know, kind of hit me off guard. I was like, what the hell? You joking, right? And he was like, no, I want to get rid of him. I'm sick of him. And he's really he had some disdain for Robbie, and. Um, it kind of caught me off guard. I really didn't know how to react. I was like, "Are, are you sure you want to? You know, you want to do this?" He was like, "Yeah." I'm. S the things that he said were just to me kind of outlandish. He was like, if "Robbie types very loud on his keyboard and it pisses me off." And 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 he he's really loud in the mic and it's, it's just, he doesn't have a magnetic personality. And I was like, uh, and he then he mentioned you know that that Gary was you know. He wanted Robbie gone too, and we were going to rebrand, you know, create a new show, and it wasn't going to be done the same way. And all that stuff sounded nice. It was like, you know, something new and something different. But to, to do that to Robbie, and I was like, well, what are we going to say to Robbie? And Brian was like, don't say anything. I was like, what? <laughs> it's fucking insane. You don't do that to somebody. And uh, I, uh, I actually made this video um, uh, back in 2017, July 2nd, 2017. And uh, it's titled, Is This the Right Way to Do This? Robbie's Our Brother and Our Friend. And I wanted to share that with you guys today. Uh, it's a private video. And it's unlisted. And uh, this was something I sent to uh, Briar Rabbit. And uh, basically, this is uh, two days after Briar had mentioned to me that no matter what, he didn't want Robbie to be with us anymore. And in... It was very, very stressful for me. Robbie was and still is my friend. Um, and of course we don't talk like we used to. I haven't talked to Robbie since the last time we did Beastly Thoughts. But this whole situation, it, I don't, you know, I'm the man at home. Yeah, I, don't, I don't go out and party and hang out with a bunch of groupies. But Beastly Thoughts was like my real friends. Like not too nerdy, you know, inner black ninja, these guys are my, my peoples. Uh, Robbie, you know, uh, these are people who I feel like if I saw out in public, I'd, we'd have great kinship. And, and Robbie, still, I still believe that. Robbie was going through a lot during this time. And uh, I made this video for Briar Rabbit. I wanted to share it with you guys today so you kind of get an understanding of what happened and why I feel the way I do. Now, Gary, he actually um, he made a comment today on the, on the video I uploaded this morning and told me he kind of disagrees uh, with the way I feel uh, about Briar Rabbit. Well, that's totally fine. Um, People are individuals, and, and, and sometimes a person might show you a different side than another person, or a perspective from one person is different than that of another person. And, you know, Briar and I had many conversations one-on-one -on -one without, you know, you, Gary, or, or, or without Robbie. We, I mean, we did this for a long time. And, and um, I think that after this, I sent Briar this video, I actually later on sent the video to Robbie. Uh, and you guys will understand why I did. Uh, because it was eating away at me. I, I talked to my wife about it and, you know, I didn't want to, to me, it was very, very hard to do. Even thinking about today, it's, it's, Robbie was going through a lot. And a lot of things that were going on in Robbie's life that, you know, people don't have any idea about. You know, he's up there in Canada and, you know, eating maple syrup and, and things are tough. But he was, he was going through a lot. And um, he told Briar and I in confidence that Beastly Thoughts kind of saved him. And, and I didn't want to do that to him. And, and after I made this video to the Briar, and Briar called me on my phone and said, I don't fucking want him anymore. I'm, si I'm sick of him, I'm tired of him, I want him gone. And I was like, wow. Um, and Briar, you know, he's the big, he was a star. You know, 90,000 subscribers, boop, boop. I'm like, okay, this is tough. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tough it out and see what happens. I hadn't met Wilson yet, and, and Gary, of course, I knew. And, we were talking on Twitter, and, and Robbie was on Twitter, and uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to let Robbie know. And, and they were like, don't say anything. And I was like, what? <laughs> i got to talk to Robbie and let Robbie know what's going on. I, I'm not the kind of person to do that. And so I actually re reached out to Robbie. They don't. I, they didn't know this, I don't think. Uh, actually, they did, they'd found out after the fact when I actually reached out to Robbie. I told Robbie, um, I told Robbie, what was happening and Robbie couldn't believe it he, he was totally dumbstruck and I told Robbie I said Robbie the, this, the relationship that we thought we had is not real I love you to death you're a brother to me and, 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 but you know at the time Briar and I were like 
like I say in this video, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> and so I thought Briar and I were, were like brothers, but this situation that happened, it helped me understand truly what friendship meant. And this is right after the Colin Moriarty and, and Greg Miller thing. And, and, and the way that it was handled made me feel extremely differently. And uh, it made me have a personal feeling towards Briar as a friend. It made me see him differently in a different light. And as time progressed, our professional relationship, our personal relationship really just disintegrated. And, and it was to the point like Gary doesn't know. Briar and I were yelling at each other on the phone, you know, cussing, cussing each other out. And, you know, he's like, are we good? I'm like, I don't fucking know. Are we good? I mean, these kind of things really happen. And um, in the end, in the end, I feel like, I feel like I, I, I shouldn't have even did Revolver. I really do. I feel like I shouldn't have. I'm happy I did. But part of me feels like, you know, I, I went along, went along to get along. And I, I, I destroyed a kid. You know, this really, this really hurt Robbie. It hurt him a lot. And at the time, he was just a little bit older than my son. I destroyed a kid who was, who was vulnerable to go along with the crowd. Uh, you know, they told, I told them I didn't want to do it. They were like, yeah, it, wouldn't, it, won't, it won't work without you. We need you to do it. And so I, I went along and did it. And, you know, every time that the show would start, and I would say, you know, the little intro, part of me would just die. I was like, what is happening here? And, and over time, I, it became more of a burden to, to, to sit and talk to, the, to these people. And, and it just ate away in my soul. And so this is not for, this video will not be monetized. Okay? This video will not be monetized. This video is for me because I want to be honest. I want to show you guys what happened. Uh, this is a 10 minute video. I'm going to play it for you guys. I want to actually just, uh, I'm not going to play it right here. Um, but I'm going to play it for you guys so you guys can hear my words from a few years ago. Tr trying to plead with someone who in my mind at the time was a YouTube star. To, to, to have a little compassion and, and, and to understand what friendship was supposed to be. And it didn't work. And after this is when I felt, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Uh, you know, this guy is a real piece of shit. Um, and, and, you know, the things that have happened since then are between he and I. I still feel like he's a piece of shit. I mean, I, I genuinely want him to be happy. I want his family to, to, to be successful. But our personal relationship and our professional relationship, he fucked everything up. Briar fucked everything up. Um, and, and, you know, shout out to everybody who's ever on the show with me. But I want to go ahead and play it for you guys now. Um, I'm going to uh, to mute the name of some of the other hosts who don't deserve to have their names put out here because I did mention a few people who had had infractions uh, at the time and who were, you know, we got to get rid of these people. Well, they were already gone, but we the reason was justified if we wanted to get rid of these people because they wouldn't show up. They always had something else going on. So I'm going to mute those names out. But um, this is more therapy for me because, you know, if I go forward making videos, I want you guys to know the truth. Uh, I try not to be a bad person, but I think that me going along to get along made me, made me a bad person. And uh, I, I don't think I am. I think I'm a good person. I try to treat people fairly. I love people. But doing this to a kid who done so much for us and, and then the relationship that kind of was created afterwards where you look into the eyes of somebody you think you know and you're like are we even cool you know are we even real if you can do that to somebody else I must not be shit e either and so when you have those things in the back of your mind and then when you start to see a person's personal uh, uh, ambitions coming out and the way that they are behind closed doors a pre-show or after show and you're like yeah this is not somebody I would ever hang out with that's what happened. Yeah. You guys let me know what you think um, in the comments about what you're about to see. And um, like I said, some of these things will be muted, uh, some of the names, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna play it unedited besides a few of the names. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, learn something. Uh, I think after I show this to you guys, I will feel a lot better as a person. Peace. <sighs> What's up, bro? I know you're busy. I wanted to make this private video for you. Um, I honestly don't care if you share it with uh, Gary or anybody else. This whole situation with Robbie has been eating away at me. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. 
and uh, I'm going to ask you your thoughts after I after I say a few things. Robbie has been a part of BC Thoughts since episode 22. He's been a part of what we are. He was there when the the OGs were there. He's missed a handful of shows. Probably less than 10. I'd say guaranteed more more than less. Less than 10 episodes in all these years. He doesn't have the that passion, that excitement that people come for like when they come to listen to you and I, but he has been a part of the show and he's a friend of ours, Briar. He's a friend. He's a friend of the people who watch our show. His mother is a friend of mine on Facebook. He's a good kid. He has differing points of view on video games, but he's had a few infractions, I would say. He typed on his keyboard way too much, but that could be taken care of with a stern conversation and say, that shit is over, you need to take care of that now. But he fucking took care of us for years. Before Gary came along. It's the truth. I didn't have time to get the news. We just talked about it. I didn't have time for it. You didn't have time for it. We were thankful. We told people. We told people. This show could not go on without Robbie. And people believe that. Robbie's our friend. If we do this in the way you guys are... The way that we've decided to do this... What kind of people are we going to be? What are we going to look like to our viewers? Yeah, everybody knows the show is looking different. Everybody knows that. But if Robbie's gone, first of all, they're going to have a whole other situation like Colin Moriarty. Of course, Robbie's not Colin Moriarty, but he's a good kid. He doesn't have many enemies. And, you know, he talked about his depression and all this stuff going on with him before he met us and how this changed his life. Do you Do we want to do this to him this way? For he has no idea. He's on Twitter telling me and you and, and, and Gary how important this show has been to him but he doesn't care because he's a part of what we are and whatever we do in the future is going to he wants to be a part of that do we going to really do that to this kid who took all these years out of his life to be a part of this show to contribute to this show the guys who left this show are fuck ups man the guys who left this show did not deserve to be on this show Obviously, didn't have time. They found better things to do every fucking week. Those guys, racist asshole. Those are legitimate reasons to get rid of somebody. But Robbie, let's think about this now. He typed on his keyboard too loud. He, uh, you know, he he gets loud and, and, and interrupts, which he doesn't do very often. But that's something that can be fixed. Robbie's not a lost cause, and I I fear that if we do that in this way. For me, Robbie's a part of this fucking family. Robbie's a part of what we are, Briar. And our fans know that. And if shit goes left and we come out with a revolver and Robbie's like, what the fuck is going on? And people start hitting him on Twitter. What's going on? He's not Colin Moriarty. He's not signing an NDA. He's going to say, these fucking guys stabbed me in the back. I cannot believe that they did this to me. And this is going to come to our show. People are going to ask... How the fuck could you do that to this guy who's been with you since episode 22? I think we need to reconsider this. I think we need to have a conversation with Robbie. And I think we need to bring... Robbie deserves more than this, Briar. He's been with us since episode 22, man. He deserves more respect than what we're giving him. We're treating him like he just came a few months ago. He's been here with us for years. He deserves more respect than what he's getting right now. God damn it, he's only... I didn't know he'd been with us since episode 22. I had to look. You know, I was talking to my wife about it. And my wife told me. She said, ever since the moment I told her that, she felt like we were doing Robbie wrong. And I'm a real person. And I understand Gary wants this thing to be perfect. It probably never will be perfect. But we had fun with Robbie. He was a part of what we were. And of course, it wasn't peanut butter and jelly like me and you. But he was there when we needed him. He's had some issues since Gary's come along because he's he's a kid, first of all. He's just turning 21 or 20. I don't know how old he is. He, he, feel, he feels like he's getting shafted because Gary's changing everything. And that's understandable for him to feel that way. And that's something we can all talk to him about and help him understand that Gary's trying to make this better. But we can't do that. We can't do it this way. We can't. 
unless you, you, you're you okay with sabotaging what we are. And if we've known Robbie for all these years and we're willing to do this to him, what does that say about us as people? About friendship, about bonds, ab about a team. We've said it to people numerous times that Robbie is a part of this. He's the third wheel of the tricycle. All these years we've said this. And for us to just turn our back on him like he's nobody. On all the episodes that we've had that wouldn't have worked without Robbie. I think it's pretty fucked up. I mean, it, I wouldn't come to you and tell you this if I didn't believe it. I woke up this morning thinking about it. What, what are we doing here? What are we really doing here? We're bringing in a bunch of new guys that are, are great people, but we're turning our back on somebody who was there for us. Robbie was there for us, Brian. He might not be 100% the way he was since these changes have happened, but you know as well as I do that he was there for us when we needed him. He's a friend of ours. And if we're willing to do this to a friend, what does that mean about friendship? If we're, if we're doing, willing to do this to somebody who's an OG, a beginner, he was one of the first guys on Beastly Thoughts. What does that mean? Now, if you if you come back after this video and you tell me, I just don't want him here anymore, I'll respect that. You know, this is something you and I have, have built together. But all I ask you to do is think about the points I brought up. The things, the issues that Robbie has are ones that can be fixed with a stern conversation, not just by saying it, you know, after the show. Having a whole a pre-show, 30-minute show, and say, Robbie, these issues are the ones we've had with you, and this is why we're doing this, this, we're making the decision we made, or we're making. Or consider bringing him along. He's a kid. He can grow. He can become better. I just don't want to be that guy. I don't. Um, I feel like it's wrong. You know, I, I hit uh, Gary on Twitter uh, a couple days ago. And he was still, well, I think it'd be better if Robbie's gone. Robbie, Robbie, this, Robbie. Man, you haven't worked with Robbie for years like I have. You haven't built a bond with this kid like I have. Me and Robbie have had arguments. We've had, uh, you know, camaraderie moments, just laughing, combining, and just being together as, like, friends and family, man. We, we have that. Gary don't have that with Robbie. You do. I do. We've had it with Robbie for a long time. And I think that if we jump the gun and we do this, there could be lasting repercussions for us. Because anybody watching, like my, my wife, she's on our side, but she's telling me that this is not right. What we're doing is not right. The way it's being done, the way it's being handled, kind of uh, shadowy, shady type of way we're dealing with somebody who's been with us for years. And honestly, he doesn't deserve that, man. He deserves a little bit more respect than we're giving him, Briar. We got guys that are rooting against him. And you know that. I don't think Gary wants Robbie around. They've had words on Twitter. We got guys who we like who are rooting against guys that we like. Robbie is not as bad as people are saying he is. Robbie should know what's going on. Uh, uh, he should know that we're getting rid of him, or, or we should talk to him and see if he is willing to make these changes so he can come with us. I just think that if we do it the way that we're planning it, this really shady, undercover, black helicopter type of way, it's going to hurt us in the long run. I wanted to make this video and, and give me my thoughts. I'm sorry it took a little, little longer than I expected, but uh, this is some real shit to me. And, and Robbie's a friend of mine, and he's someone who's been there for us before Gary, before when everybody else turned their back on us. Remember, Brian, turned his back when turned his back, and these guys were unavailable and fucking up every week. Robbie was there for us, man. And if, if he's not going to be here for the next episode of what we do, he needs to know that. He needs he needs a little bit more respect for the things that he's contributed to to our success and to the to the success of Beastly Thoughts. So um, I, I unlisted this video, and uh, I hope you you check it out and let me know what you think. I'll see you next week. And that's how you fuck everything up. I uh, I wanted to take this moment. This will be my last video addressing any of this crap. I just wanted to get it off my chest, and I'll let you guys know how I felt about it. Um, I feel like I wittingly went against my own conscience uh, and, and wanted to try to keep everything together and keep everybody, all my friends, somehow tethered. Uh, but I let I let a grenade go off in the middle of the room, and, and I didn't I didn't get out of the room in time. But my life has been a lot better uh, since since this whole debacle, and, and it part of it's very hurtful. There's someone who I used to see as a brother, I, I now feel like has become. 
It was fake. It was, I mean, you can't feel like a person's real if, if they can do that to someone they know for years. And uh, the reaction to that video was not very good. It was just, uh, I don't get, I don't really care. Uh, I just want them gone. I, I'm just tired of them. I'm fucking sick of them. So I was like, wow. And I probably should have never joined the Revolver, Revolver Live. But hey, they said they needed me, man. <laughs> but I, I wanted to share that with you guys and, and let you know uh, that's primarily why I kind of stepped away from YouTube. It was just bad vibes. It was a lot of negative feelings and thinking about, you know, contributing to someone's anguish and, and to someone's pain and, and, and seeing something that used to be so special just dissolve before your eyes and become something else as a person you thought you knew metamorphosize into something that you you just don't i love you guys thank you all so much for checking out the video uh like i said this this will not be addressed anymore on this youtube channel this is not for you guys to go out and start you know campaigning or saying bad things about people let people live their lives i just wanted you guys to get a clear image of why i said what i said this morning on youtube and I look forward to new content on the channel. Shout out to all the old alumni. I love you all. Uh, I wish all the success in the world to all of you guys. And I'm very, very blessed to have called all of you my friends at some point in time. Take care of yourselves and Godspeed.